Denzel Washington, one of my favorite actors, one of the greatest that ever do it. Great movies such as Training Day, Man on Fire, Glory, Malcolm X. And uh, anybody really like Deja Vu like that, but it was pretty good. <laughs> and movies such as uh what's the fuck this shit, the uh the motherfucking um the shit that like, in Washington. <laughs> Whatever. These are made great movies. Great fucking movies. But this cringe worthy shit that he just said. You hear what he just said though? I heard him boss. That's a good nigga. <laughs> yeah, but what he mentioned was what I got out the cringe moment was this. He was like, he don't care for people that downs the Police and military. Now, okay, cool. Look, military, y'all all right. Even though y'all fighting for the enemy. But y'all all right. Y'all put y'all lives on the line. But the police, we got to down them because of what we've been seeing for the past shit since police began. Slave catchers and night watch. That is the origin of police. Slave catchers and night watch. Okay? This will have the nerve to say that, that he don't care for us that down these people. Which they are evil people. And he says that we should be grateful for these people. That we have them <laughs> around. Or we wouldn't be talking about them as we do. What it's like <sighs> Denzel is so out of touch with society, probably with reality itself. You've been on the the fucking high throne forever, Denzel. You need to come back to the people and see what's really going on in the street. Oh, he know what's going on in the street because it's on the news. Police killing unarmed black people, they're on the news. Police brutality is on the news. <laughs> Racism is not being defeated. It's being filmed more. We got to understand that Denzel is a celebrity, people. So let's stop worrying about what the fuck that nigga got to say. It's like the, it's like the Dave Chappelle joke. Y'all remember the Dave Chappelle joke on one of his skits? I think it was the, um, I think it was the Killing Me Softly, where they talked about what happened at the WTC buildings, because I guess I'm gonna get demonetized. I guess at the WTC buildings back in 2001, where there was like. Dave Chappelle was like, um, he was making a skit. He was like, all right, we have Ja Rule on the line. It's like, let's see what Ja Rule has to say. And Chappelle was like, who gives a fuck what Ja Rule has to say? Man, I ain't trying to dance. I'm scared to death. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be at home like, oh, my God, this is bad. Somebody get a hold of Ja Rule to make, a, <laughs> make some sense of all this, man. <laughs> Bring me Ja. <laughs> Me, you know what I'm saying? That shit is funny. That shows how motherfuckers really link it up to celebrities for motherfucking shit that they can look up they sell. Celebrities are not the motherfucking pinnacle of morality. <laughs> and plus, who cares what the fuck these celebrities think? Look, here's why Denzel left the police. You know why? He stays in a nice ass house, has a wonderful family, and he wants them protected. Okay? <laughs> While he's out and about taking pictures, signing autographs, he would love to have the police to, to, to back him. You know what I'm saying? He loves them. <laughs> As a matter of fact, there's another reason why Denzel loves police. He he plays police in certain movies. Well, most of his movies, he's a fucking officer. Or a corrupt officer. Or a DEA agent. You know what I'm saying? This is why his best movie is Malcolm X. You know what I'm saying? So, in conclusion, I don't want to make this video long. Denzel is out of touch with society. And we shouldn't care about what he's talking about. <laughs> but shout out to all the content creators that's doing some content on this subject. <laughs> Get those subscribers up. Yeah. Because niggas is eating on this Curry Hogan shit.
Tastes like chicken. <laughs> Stephen A. Smith head ass. Anyway, <laughs> to finish off this conclusion, stop running about these motherfucking celebrities. So what? Shit, man. Dog, there's a lot of shit going on in the motherfucking news right now. They got little Nas X. This nigga said he just bought some tits. He said, got bored, so I bought some titties. And I'm looking at this. I'm like, oh, my God. I wish every apocalypse in every religion happens right now. <laughs> it's like, like, honestly, this shit is the end of the world. <laughs> little Nas X head ass. Fuck this guy. This nigga really make us look bad as a people. You think people around the world ain't seeing what's going on in America when it comes to our black people? And them niggas over there, see? I told you. Don't go over there and get with those niggas. <laughs> them niggas are confused. <laughs> they don't know who they are, what they want to do with their life. This nigga just bought some titties. Some tips. Goddamn. But me, I not like good old-fashioned dick shot to call my dad. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> It's fucked up man It's fucked up man But uh What's going on in other news Oh shit well I knew Corey Holcomb was going to talk about Jeff Brown But I'm glad it wasn't a long time But I knew that was going to happen So don't come back to the 5150 show <laughs> I don't give a fuck how cool you think things is. Like, fuck that bullshit. But but back to the the rest of celebrityhood news. Um Cardi B is sick due to her music video shenanigans. And um it might be allegedly. But T.I. and Tiny. Woo wee. Man, I really hope nothing happens to them. And um This is where Hurricane give you to this full former celebrityhood news. Peace.